Hey guys, welcome to the Cobra's Den. And this is a video I'm making, and it's basically from the World Money Fair, but we're going to talk about the goldbacks. And in the UK, we've seen them, and we grab them, and we pay a bit extra for them, because they're not easy to get hold of over here. So let's take a quick look at these, and then you'll see an interview that I did with Valerum. And the beautiful thing about these is that they do contain real gold. Small amounts, but real gold nonetheless. And in the four states that the goldbacks were produced, um, they are there are businesses which will accept them as currency. Now, is that all that Valerum do? Is it just the goldbacks? No. They also produced the silverback for um, Silver Dragons, another creator in America. Um, and these are two that they produced for the World Money Fair in Berlin 2024. This one here, absolutely gorgeous. The artwork and the design on these are phenomenal. Uh, this was created and given away to uh, guests at the World Money Fair. And then I was very privileged because I was very lucky to be given this 500 note, which was just given to VIPs. And I'm not saying I'm a VIP by any means, but they were very kind to give me this after I did the interview. And there's a couple more gold backs there. And as you can see, the artwork is absolutely gorgeous. But let's go over now to the World Money Fair and an interview with Valarum. Hi, so we're here at, how do you pronounce it? Val Valorum. Valorum. And I was very excited to see your stall. Well, thank and, you. And uh, the reason is, it's goldbacks. Yeah. And in the UK, we see the goldbacks. They're mm -hmm. beautiful. We can't get them easily. We have to get them in. Okay. Uh, but the, the growth of it is brilliant. Yeah. So would you please tell me something about how they're produced, uh, how they came about? Yeah, great. Um, so the goldback is a product that we manufacture. Uh, it's a separate marketing company, uh, and they've done a phenomenal job. Um, we uh, at Valorum produce Orum technology, so it's the gold in a bill form. The gold is layered atom by atom onto that bill, and then we incorporate uh, government, government level anti-counterfeiting features into the bill. So what we're trying to do is produce gold in everyday amounts that anyone can use and afford. And of course, I've never uh, thrown away a hundred pound bill, so I, uh, or note. So, uh, you know, it's for everyone at every level. Um, but we're really excited to make gold more accessible to everybody. That's really the mission of the company. We talk about democratizing gold ownership. Um, so, uh, you know, Goldback uh, is a partner of ours and we're, it's, it's awesome to see uh, people getting introduced to gold in this form. And it can now be used as currency in some of the states, correct? Uh, we don't take a necessarily a position on that, but what, you know, my understanding is if I want to trade you something for something I have, that's, you know, we are, we're all free to barter. So, as Valorum, you produce the gold back for gold back. Correct. But you do your own type we, of uh, yeah, yeah. So, gold so we gold. are a private mint. We like to think that we are the technology leader in the uh, entire minting space. Um, and so, a mint is something is a uh, a company or a group that produces metals, right? So, uh, there are national mints that are governmental, and then there are private mints, and a lot of uh, other coinage is produced by private mints for government so we've worked with seven issuing authorities uh, to produce uh, gold for them and then we also do uh, private issues for companies like Goldback um, and, and a number of other uh, you know companies as well all through the world. Cool and you've got some of your products here yeah could you just quickly talk me through some of these? Yeah, yeah. absolutely so just some examples of things that we've done uh, so this is like a bullion series where people can buy uh, and they're denominated in milligrams. So that's 1,000 milligrams, which is equal to one gram, all the way down to the 50, which is 1 20th of a gram. 
Uh, this is very popular in the US and lets people buy gold in any quantity effectively they can want. Um, so uh, obviously a gram is about, melt value is about $65 US, which uh, about my 54 50, in pounds. 54 in pounds. Yeah. So quite a good spread uh, of different values. Um, you know, we make some commemorative products over here. So these reproduce uh, really scientifically important uh, botanical drawings uh, by Elizabeth Blackwell. Um, you know, these were really historically important drawings and we think they're beautiful art and we put them on gold. Um, then, you know, and you can see the sort of stacks of the 1000 milligrams here. And, and what we're really, you know, what we really are excited about is people uh, buying whole stacks of gold uh, that are in the increments that they want. Um, it, it has a really nice feel when you hold a stack of gold in your hand. Um, these are some products uh, that are very popular in the US. Uh, so this is uh, reproducing one of the most famous uh, Liberty designs in the, uh, from US coinage. It's not, it's not a legal tender piece, but it reproduces that art. And then this is actually uh, what we call our freedom bill. Um, and this is the statue on the top of the U.S. Capitol. Okay. Um, so that's that. We have a Lunar New Year one here. You. And then, uh, you know, for the Year of the Dragon. And then uh, this is a show special only presented to VIPs. Uh, it's a, a half a gram and it is commemorative just for this show in Berlin. Right. Uh, so we did a few of these. Then we have the 50 as well. You know, just something that people can only get here. We'll only ever do it once this year. Yeah. Um, and then this is something we're very, very excited about with Panini. Uh, we just produced uh, some of the first gold, silver, and platinum trading cards. This is a beautiful piece, um, and we're hoping to do a lot more trading cards in the future. So that's kind of uh, some of our things. And uh, Well, the trading cards is a very exciting thing. I think um, so, too. If you just look at the cards, normal cards, how much value went up on loads of them. Yeah. But to have gold, silver, yeah. or platinum on them, uh, platinum on them is absolutely amazing. Absolutely, and you know that space where it has, you know, so much passion in it, and people, you know, that collector's market over the last few years has just gone crazy, and uh, you know, we really want to be a part of that, and and thinking about how do we present precious metals in new ways that the public hasn't seen, but also that can stand the test of time and build value for people over the long term. That's really our passion. Brilliant. So, do you think? you will be able to produce a Cobra Stacker for <laughs> We're gonna talk about it. Okay. We're gonna talk about it. Great, thank you so much. I really appreciate your time. I know you're a very busy man. And that is Valorum, and they are amazing. Thank you so thank much. Thank you so much. And there you go. And that was very enlightening. And you never know, you might see a Cobra Stacker silver back coming out soon we'll see what happens with that uh but i really want to thank um valerum for giving me some time and uh yeah let's look out for more of these and see where they go this is the cobra stacker signing out of the cobra's den <laughs>